This is the Outliers Edge podcast, where we champion the leaders who are shaping the next era of humanity by taking them to the edge of their comfort zone so that they can lead us to the edge of what's next. I'm your host, Niyama Ashan. Let's do this. Mm. Good day to you. My name is Niyama Shang, and I am the founder of Outliers Edge, where we champion the leaders who are shaping the next era of humanity. Today, we get to have a conversation to really look at what does it actually mean to be a change leader, someone who is on the forefront of really creating more space, more possibility, and a new future for people, for, for people and humanity ongoing, right? Now, one of the things we like to look at this is that while the while our mission is massive, um, we know that it is not done in one felt, felt swoop. It actually has, it's a number of different people with their missions and the places that they choose to focus that make it come to life. So whether you're an entrepreneur, uh, whether you're a business leader, uh, whether you're bringing this to life inside of your family and you're, you're changing the, 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 the way, you're shaping the way that humanity looks like inside of your family in the next era of that, we have your back because we understand what it's like to be one of the only, one of the first or one of a kind in creating something new in the world. I get a chance to talk today uh, with Les Watson, who is exactly one of those people. Like he's an outlier and a trailblazer. Uh, and, and Les, like we got connected a few weeks ago. I, I, I really love like you and the way that you're bringing things out into the world. And I'm really, really excited to be in this conversation with you. Thanks for being here with us on Outlier's Edge. Uh, it's, it's wonderful to be here. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's uh, I'm, I'm like one of the things I, I appreciate about you is your energy. Um, I know it's like early morning for you. We met even earlier in the morning, the first time that, that we talked. And uh, I think energy is in, incredibly important for like not just for the way that we come across, but you know for what is necessary to actually create something different, create something new in the world, to bring out new innovations, right? Uh, because it just takes. It takes something. It needs to come from some some source. So uh, I look to you as someone in my life where uh, just even getting on a call with you like calibrates me upwards. And now and I'm like, okay, all right, Les is here. Okay, we're gonna play. Even right before I hit record, I was I, I'm like I'm shaking. We're, we're making some moves. So uh, I want to acknowledge you for that uh, as, as we step into this. Here, let's do this. Let's give people a chance to get a chance to understand you. Uh, a bit more professionally, and then we'll go understand understand you like on a broader sense here. Uh, I like to ask this question in this way. Uh, we we champion the leaders who are shaping the next era of humanity. And Les, I see you as one of those leaders. How are you shaping the next era of humanity? I think that leaders, there's a general populace and leaders step above that. And the opportunity to fine tune a leader enabling them to make that change is what I'm all about. So there's um, complacency, there's uh, the humdrum, there's all those sorts of things that, that you can fall into a rut. And someone once said the difference between a rut and a grave is the depth. Mm. And, and it's like, are you in a rut or have you died? And it's like, come on, let's go. There, there's things to do. There's, and you've got to stand out. And the way to stand out it is to actually look at self to go, what am I doing that's working? What am I doing that's not working? And what can I do differently to create more change in my world and be that example to the world so that others go, hey, if Les can do it, then I can do it too. Or if it's if it's easy, why am I not doing it? Why have I not, why has someone not told me about this before? So a lot of the stuff that I uh, have as information is not rocket science and it's not brain surgery. It's not like that. It's like the small, tiny things that we need in our life to constantly look at and go, I, I know you know it, but are you doing it? And that's, I, I've got a whole stack of things to talk about that, but that's the thing. I, I come alongside people and go, let's do a bit of introspection here and go, what can we do internally for you that enables you to change others? I think it's really important. And this is why I have you here in this conversation, because I, I get a chance to meet a lot of people who are up to interesting things in the world, but not everyone understands like what it takes to like help a leader be able to access their their higher levels of leadership, to be able to to, to lean that even further. And I like how you said, like, look, whatever your outcome is that you're that you're 
trying to get, uh, there's pathways to it. And one of the shortest paths is to look at self, to start with you and to and to play with that. Well, uh, Les, we're going to be uh, re- playing all around that uh, in today's conversation. Um, I focus more on insight than information. So we'll have you share some, like maybe throughout here, share some of like so some of that information. And I think you and I, like, let's just have a conversation so that others may be able to draw whatever insights that they need to from this as well. Sound good to you? Awesome. Let's awesome. go. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, you know, so I really, uh, I'm keen right now on looking at supporting leaders from the standpoint of uh, them taking a look at themselves and then going out and doing what you were talking about. Like, how, how do you actually leverage, like, how, who they are? to be able to create their next le- their their leadership to be effective as a leader and to make things come in, in alignment with them right so i love to start off with like just looking at you to begin with les uh and like go a little bit down like your outlier your trailblazer journey here um and then and then we'll take that into uh into a place of like how others can continue to apply from there all right awesome yep cool so uh take us tickets to Take us to the beginning of this journey for you. I'm like, I was going to say, like, take me to like 10 years ago, but I feel like your journey uh, here has started started before that based on our, our earlier conversation. So take me to the beginning of the journey here. Like, like how do things start off for you uh, in, in your journey? Um, I am the original Tasmanian devil. The, mm. So as you know, that Australia on the East Coast, there's a little island down the bottom. It's Tasmania. And from the from the cartoons, the Tasmanian Devil. So I grew up in Tasmania and some people came when I was doing health and fitness and they said, you've got way too much energy to be in Austra- in Tasmania. You need to come to the mainland and play there. So I, I left Tasmania, went to the mainland. I ended up in Sydney and I did quite a few years in Sydney. And one of the things as I was leaving Tasmania, they made me a manager and I, did, I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea to be a manager. No one told me. No one gave me any instruction. No one mentored me. They said, you're now the manager. And I've gone, ah. And I, I failed miserably. And I, I made it a mission to, to put that aside and go, I need to know how to do that. And I was introduced to a lot of personal development. And it was that personal development that then enabled me to go from, as some people said, drifting Dennis, it was a nickname, Drifting Dennis, to, to being someone that was on purpose, someone achieving goals, someone that was making a difference in the world as opposed to or say, being a contributor rather than um, a, a taker. So it was that opportunity to really look at myself and find out what worked for Les, what didn't work for Les. And there were some, some very rough edges on Les that needed to be to be handled. Um, I understood, I got a real good understanding on how to do relationship, how to listen, how to take in information, how to, to do relationship at the, at the next level so that that goes across my whole life. And particularly when I'm in, in a, uh, a training or in a mentoring session of being able to listen and, and really dig down on, on what people are, are, are really saying not just the words that are coming out of their mouth. So there are levels to it. And that, that's where it was for me. I, I came through that personal development organization. I worked there um, and it set my life up. I met my wife there and I then went and created my own training company. I did that in Sydney for many years. Um, someone once said they, they don't, in, in JVs, in joint ventures, in venture capital, they don't work with anybody that hasn't gone bust once. Uh, and I didn't go bust, bust, but I, I laid a company down. It's like, yeah, that's a failure. <laughs> and no one wants to go, hey, I'm a failure. I Look at me. I'm, I was like, put the tail between the legs and crawl into a corner and just do something else. And I did that. I really did. I put my head down and I just did something else. And um, I came down here to Victoria the state of Victoria and a, a colleague said, you need to start your company again. And I went, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I've been burnt there. I don't want it. No, no, no. What you've got, people need. Come on, Les, let's go. And it was, it was so, and I just saw it last night and it was lovely. It was just so lovely to have someone believe in me and go, no, no, you, you failed once. That's beside the point. Let's go again. 
And uh, that's where uh, Get More Time came from. That's where my nickname, The Time Lord, came from. And my other uh, arm of the business, Creating Success Coaching, that's where that came from as well. And uh, and now it's I work with multinationals all the way down to the corner store and anywhere in between. My niche really is those that are um, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, micropreneurs, small business owners that, that kind of can't get out of their own road to get to the next level. That's, that's who I work with. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so I'm hearing some elements here around for you around uh, being, being seen and kind of pulled out of Tasmania and being like, like, Hey, you have, you have a lot of energy, you have a lot more to offer. Uh, and like, and, it's, and what I get when I heard that here is like, Tasmania can't contain you. And there's like, like, there's, well, there's one out Tasmania can't contain you and the rest of Australia needs you to. Right. And so like, let's, let's make sure that that, that, that you're like answering that call. And you said, yes. Uh, and they said, great, go be a manager, take this title. Uh, we're not really going to really support you in the, in like how to be successful at it right off the bat. Um, but, but we see you and we're going to create that opportunity for you. Um, you then talked about drifting Dennis and then like, then move into like a place of being like on purpose. Right. Uh, I get really curious about that. I get really curious about that. And I, and let me check in with you then. What would you say like your purpose is right now? Such a great question. And, and you don't get asked that very, very, uh, often. The thing around purpose is it took me 50 years to find my purpose. Nice. And when, when I found it, it was like my world exploded. And I, I'm very much an advocate of people finding their purpose. Like, why are you on the planet? What, what's the impact that you can, you can make? I was in a training, um, a session, two-hour session, and the guy that was presenting, I, I created the session, put the facilitator in there, and he said, oh, this, 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 and, and purpose. And it was a two-hour session, and I've gone, I can't come up with my purpose in, in just like, like that. I can't do that. So I came home and I said to my wife, we've got to go to a coffee shop tomorrow morning, Saturday. And I want you to ask me this why question. Why do you do what you do? Why do you do what you do? And she just asked me, why do you do that to make money? Yeah, but why do you want money? And it just kept going and going and going and going. And finally got to the bottom. And it's like, I, I, I do it to bring life. And she went, um, let me just reiterate that. You bring life. And I went, wow. So no matter, like you actually said it, that you want, you like the energy, that's, that's life bringing energy. So I, whether it's in business, one-to-one, -one, at a networking event, at a family do, it, around the, the um, dining room table, I bring life. And that's my purpose, to bring life. And part of that with time management, productivity, small business coaching, it's all about bringing life to the individual so that they can go to their next level, whatever that might be. All right. So I'm going to slow this down a little bit here. Uh, we're going to keep the energy up. We're going to keep the life in here. We're going to, you know, slow down because I, I like to pull out distinctions as I hear, uh, as I hear people talk. Uh, so a couple of things that really struck me. One, it's like, it took you 50 years to find this. And, I, and my, my guttural response was like, nice, you know? Uh, and I, and for me, there was this element of like, being in the, being like allowing the, allowing the purpose to continue to evolve and to be able to look at the like to have experiences in life so said so that that would come come to play here um just quickly speak to that really like when you say like it took me 50 years to find my purpose like is there anything else that, that you would say around it almost feels like there's like a pressure to find the purpose you know and i think that's what i like most about like it took me 50 years to find it. it's like look i was out in the world i was successful there's other things going on but it wasn't until I actually went through this process that I actually was able to connect in with the purpose. So I'll be kind of, just, I'm just curious if there's anything else you'd like to say around that. Yeah, it, it's, it is a process, but if you're not shown the process, just like me being given a manager's position, if you're not shown how to be a manager, if you're not mentored into being a manager, if you're not taught how to be a manager, you're going to be a crap manager. It's just not going to work unless it's innate, unless you've God given talent to, to lead and you've done it all your life. I didn't know. So based on that, same with purpose. For me, I was, I was, I needed to be given a structure of questions to get to that point. 
Yeah. And that can be given to a person at 18 or it can be given to a person at 50 or you know, anywhere in between. You, you're you saying this and I like I like that as well, right? So it's not necessarily about like, it's going to take that much amount of time, but it's like, it's it's really, it's like you didn't come across the, the process and the structure that worked for you to get your purpose out until until that time. Uh, question for you, was it like, uh, w- when you were sitting down with your wife to have this conversation, was it, a set list of questions that were there or is it just more like hey i need you to just like don't let go of like the question why whatever i say just like keep keep exploring what that is just really curious for you if you if, if that was and yes settled. it was the one it was the one question it's it's and why do you do that so tell me more about that but but how what's the outcome of that what why is that so yeah. it was it was the why question and and there are many people uh, doing uh, great work in, in the world on that why question. And, yeah. and for leaders, that, that's the question. It's like, why do you do what you do? Why do you, why do you get up out of bed of the morning? And it's really easy for me. It's like I'm sitting there in bed and going, oh, this is really nice, but is it fulfilling my purpose? Well, it's fulfilling my purpose in me, but not anybody else. So based on that, get out of bed, Les, and bring life. Come on, let's go. Woohoo! Yeah. Come on. There's so you, people like, make an impact here. I see. I I really I really take this in because like you talk about like 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 it's the why question and it's just that one question and it's interesting because you said like oh I just didn't know the process of it and the process like when I hear it like different people are going to hear different things but when I hear this it's like a carving enough time for yourself to treat this seriously uh, and not thinking oh I'm going to go to a two hour workshop and like my purpose in life shall be determined. You know, it's like, it's not that, right? It's it's really it's a re- really about carving out the space and time to treat it seriously. And I love the other thing here when you said like the why question, you know, when I hear the why question, I love that question why, but I heard the different ways that the why came out. And I think that this is something that, I, that, that all of us as leaders can go and listen to, which is like, to me, I, I, it's like you were with someone who brought deep curiosity to you, yeah. deep curiosity. And I think that like, like that's one of the, the skill sets of, being an amazing listener and also an amazing leader to 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 be in the space of, of like we, with what you just said i'm really curious about why that's important to you how does that differ from this thing and the other thing that you've said these things seem similar but you chose to go down path path the right path or instead of the left path what what was up what was the difference for you um that that really feels like like curiosity play, plays a, a big role. So I just want to check in and see with you on that. Uh, anything to add? Anything anything that's coming to you when I bring up curiosity in, the, in this process? You've got to go with your heart. You've got to be an individual. Um, I remember going over to the states back in the day. It was a long time ago, and I did a forty day training on how to train people, and it was forty days. So we had the weekends off. We had some weekends off but it was full on for 40 days. And at the end of the 40 days, we got to do a presentation and the people that were critiquing me, there were two people and one person said, that was awesome, well done. And the other person said, that wasn't very good. Uh, You're not gonna make it. Excuse me? Oh, confusion, hello. Will you please get your story straight? I'm either good at this or I'm not good at this. You can't have it both ways. And it was very interesting because one person said, I see what you've got, keep going. The other person said, I don't like what you've got, stop. But what happens inside of me? I need to find my truth and I need to find my way. Therefore, when you're asked the question of why, it needs to be your why, not the person beside you and not your boss. It needs to come from deep within you. I remember I was working with a couple, um, a married couple, and I brought up this purpose uh, question and he got it. He got it immediately. He got it in the session and it was an hour session. He got it and he went, no, nah, got it. Fabulous. And the wife went, I, I have no idea. No. Nah. And, and we, we actually take in information very differently. I personally am a very um, a slow learner and uh, you can't have an argument with me because I'll go, that's really interesting. Let me get back to you that so that, she took three weeks to come up with her purpose and she came up with it, but that was her, her process of three weeks. Whereas fast, fast thinkers, they get like, I've got it. Fabulous. So it's not a matter of, of 
did you get it in the session or did you get it from what Les said? It's a matter of be true to you and don't let go. Don't let go. Find it. Actually dig in. Have a go and really be tenacious with it so that you come out the other end and going, I found my purpose. I know why I'm on the planet. I love this year. And I, I like, I'm going to pull out one more thing here that, that, that really struck me, which is like the simplicity of what you said. It's to bring life. And what I get about when you say bring life is that it means something far more to you than it does to me. Like those words, like I, I, I like it's in my, uh, there was a movie from, I don't know what it, Men in Black with, um, with Tommy Lee Jones and, and Will Smith. And there was, they have this thing about like, there's all these galaxies and a galaxy can be as big, like can be super huge or it could be like on the back of someone's like thumbnail, you know? And when I hear you say bring life to me, I'm like, oh, there's a whole galaxy in there. There's a whole world that exists in that. And, 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 and like what I, what I, what I really appreciate about you is that like you own that for you. You're like, this is it. Um, and you had someone that's like, can we just replay this back to you? Like bring life, like this is it. And you're like, yeah, that actually is at the core of it all. Yeah, that's that's it. That's what I'm here for. So but for some people, it's bring light, to bring clarity, to bring freedom. It could be a number of things, but there needs to be a word a, rather than a sentence. To more more a word. It's like what's what is the what is the nub for you, and don't let go until you find that nub. Nice, nice. So I want to explore a little bit here. Uh, I'm very fascinated right now. My curiosity is around how people have gone, uh, done the work of looking at themselves, found like found like who they were, um, and uh, and owned it. Right. So that's like I I find in the journey that of actually going and creating something new in the world, really creating it. There's an ele- like the people who are able to do that own who they are first and foremost uh and then they choose different ways to bring that out into the world so like i love to talk about for you here like uh i call it blazing blazing your trail right like tell me a little bit here for yourself around like tell me think to a story maybe it's a favorite project that you had yeah let's go with that like tell me about a project or an experience that you had that was like completely 100 percent les that like it was like oh okay in the in the creation and in the completion of this this experience here, like this this has like my unique imprint in the world, and 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 we'll take it from there. All right. So, I I did a program in Sydney back in the day, a long time ago, and I'd I'd laid it down, not done anything with it, and uh, that spicy cough called COVID hit, and because I'm a, a face to face person that all the face-to-face got shut down. Now, I had a, a contract that I was able to maintain via Zoom and by telephone, but it's like the next question was, okay, what's next and what's in your hand? And I went, well, I've got this program I used to do. Maybe I could put that on Facebook. Maybe I could put that online. And I ended up running five of them in the year. It took off. Um, and I did it through Facebook, and I did Facebook Lives every morning, every morning. And I went, wow, that took a lot of work and that doesn't have to be that way. Why don't I find a platform that I can take this and put it on a platform so I don't have to do it live every day, that I can have a library of videos in the background. I've got to do the work of the the videos, but then I can focus on the group coaching. And that's where creating success coaching came in. So I want to talk about the coaching per se, but the process of creating that as a model was um, was very different for me because I'm a I'm a deal maker. I I'm I love to do I love to do people to people. I, I love to get out there and, and do the talking. It's like let, let's do relationship, let's do communication. So for me to then turn <laughs> now and, and actually go, okay, we're putting the phone down, we're putting the sales down and we're doing product development. Oh, so challenging because it's it's like the bank for now and the bank for the future. I had to do work on banking for the future. I had to do product development that enabled me to then it have a standalone. Um, and, and that's challenging for me because it's insular. It's 
ticky tacky on the keyboard. It's writing, it's brainstorming, and it's very insular as opposed to me being out there talking to people, shaking hands and making deals. So the process was very uh, integral in where the business is now. I wrote a book called Get Back an Hour in Every Day. Again, that was less insular, but still insular, but it was an interesting process. And I'll tell you this one because a lot of people go, oh, I'd love to write a book. That would be awesome to write a book. And, and it came about uh, actually in the next room that I was mentoring someone and, and they said, you know, you've got enough material to write a book. <laughs> I went, no, I don't. They said, yes, you do. And my wife said, yes, you do. You really do. And I went, okay. And I, I, I'm around circles of people that if someone gives you a challenge, you don't walk away from it, you pick it up and run with it. So I said, okay, okay, okay. All right, here we go. In 12 months, I'll have a manuscript. And 12 months later, I had a manuscript and it was day by day, just doing a little bit by little bit by little bit by little bit. And at the end of 12 months, I had a manuscript and my wife came in. She said, okay, hand it over. No, I'm not ready. No, no, hand it up. No, I'm not ready. She said, will you please hand it over? So I went, okay. And she's an award-winning author and editor. So I handed it to her and uh, she handed it back to me as something that was, um, that was worthy of being in on a bookshelf. So six months after that, fully-fledged book, and it ended up uh, putting me on the Today Show, the Australian version of the Today Show. And um, it, it's an, a crazy story, but it was a matter of process, putting my head down, my bum up, and going, I've got to do the work to get the result. I've got to do the work. I've actually got to do that something every single day on this book to get it. Same with the, the, the videos, 87 videos and some of them um, anywhere from, from 10 slides to 50 slides. Doing that amount of work over 70 videos, uh, 90 videos is a huge amount of, of work. And yet the end result can stand and I don't have to go back and touch it. It's like in excellence in and of itself as opposed to perfection. So it was good. Uh, I love the process and uh, I'm not done. I'm in the process of creating, creating more of that uh, as we speak. Yeah, this uh, Takuda song, creating what you're creating here. I love the element of making, making the pivots and saying, okay, hey, usually I'm out in the world and now I'm going to take this time here and put my energy into something different, something that, that like, uh, something, something that, wasn't the way that, that you went about doing things. And I like that too, because it came from, it felt like a thing that, yes, there was an external circumstance, right? That that caused us all have to, to change uh, and do things differently. Um, and the result that you chose was still something that was in alignment with you. It wasn't, it was like, okay, how can I now, how, like, I, I would do this live, but I actually can create this, and create like a a, a standing um, product that that pe that doesn't require me to be there, but still people mm -hmm. still get support. In fact, it's so good that like it doesn't really need to be like it's it's comprehensive. It has it all. It will stand on its own over time. Yeah. Um, you talked earlier about like you're in circles of people who like uh, when you say something like like they challenge you when you say something something. Tell me a little bit about being in one of those circles because I think that's these are some of the things that uh, I don't know if everyone like like really gets uh, is available or is like is behind or are behind like people who are out there creating the world. So I just want to like tell me about the, the support systems you have in one of the circles that you're in. Such a great question, and and I thank you for asking it because it, for me uh, the process that I have is the easy model, and the easy model. Um, is about external action, but the S in easy is support. And being in groups of people and circles of people is about um, availing yourself to the support that is around you that you actually need, because we're not supposed to do this journey alone. I've never seen a, a, a self-made millionaire They've always had people around them that have been able to support them and create with them 
or alongside them or be delegated to. So the same thing happened to me when I tried to do it on my own. I failed miserably. And then coming down here to the southern part of Australia in Victoria, I was able to join different groups. So there was a local uh, commerce group in Torquay where uh, the Rip Curl Pro is at Bells Beach. Mm. And it's just outside of Bells at a place called Torquay. And, and I joined them and they, they picked up on my energy and said, would you run our breakfast for us? And I said, yes. And we ended up having 100 people for breakfast and two members of parliament and the, the, the mayor. And it was just an amazing environment where I was able to be around people that were in commerce. And then I joined the Geelong Chamber of Commerce, another one uh, here where I live. And I was able to play at a higher level and be around people that were playing a bigger game. I was uh, part of, on the board of Entrepreneurs Geelong. Again, an opportunity to be around people that were entrepreneurial. Um, I'm, I'm heading up a group at the moment called Business Builders Group, where we get together on a monthly basis and we put things on the table to build our business. We may have something that's working, but we mostly have things that aren't working and we put that on the table and we, it's like a mastermind. And we have guest speakers. So I surround myself with people that I can learn from and I can ask the hard questions. It's like I've got this problem. I really need help. Would you know an answer or do you know someone that does know the answer? So don't do life alone. Two keys with support. Be supportable because I'm sure there are people listening that have, and watching that actually go, you know, Someone's been offering support and I haven't been leading them in. So number one is be supportable. And number two is ask for it. It takes a very big person to go, I'm not coping or I, I need help, please. And, and it just goes to that whole mental health state of you don't need to do it alone. You can actually go and ask somebody and, uh, and be supported. All right. So now I'm going to slow things down a little bit here. Uh, be supportable and ask for support. Uh, th th I, I think that the element of support is really important. Um, I think it's I think it's incredibly important. Uh, uh, so much so that I've dedicated my life to it. Right. Uh, and one of the things that that I'm thinking as you're saying this is like what gets in the way of people actually like getting the support that would actually support, like move them forward or keep them moving forward. Um, I, I, I love hearing how like. It started out with one 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 chamber of commerce, grew it to another, brought you into boards, you know, led to led to breakfasts, you know, and then and then other types of programs where you're bringing people around the table to, to talk about what they're creating that month and and to really get them support. I just wanted to see like if you have for you um, the the element of when you said ask for support, right? Ask for it, ask for help. Um, that idea seems easier said than done. Mm -hmm. often. So I'd be kind of curious for you, especially given that the, the people that you work with and the leaders that, that you're with, like what's, what has, what's, what's helped to actually like get you to actually like raise the hand or open, open the mouth or just okay. asking for the support. It, it's, it's it, good. it feels simple, but like I've seen it actually executed a, a, in a more yeah. complex way. Yeah. And, and the key is to notice where your ego gets in the road. This, like the, the, the puffed chest, ah, nothing wrong with me, nothing wrong with me, nothing wrong with me, I'm fine, I'm doing it well, look at me, I'm, I've got this title and I'm creating these results. It's like, yeah, 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 how's your marriage? <laughs> how's your time on your own? Do you ever stop? If, if you take away everything, would you be okay with you? And, that, and that's a hard thing. It's a hard thing to actually go, oh, I'm not my title and I'm not my business card and I'm actually not what I do. So that given, given all of that, the ego is the thing to keep in check. Sometimes we puff our chests up and we, we actually lead with everything's fine and everything's not fine. So I'm saying just notice when the ego gets in the road that stops us from allowing the support in or 
you're not willing to ask for support because, oh, well, I can't ask Nehemiah if, for support because he thinks I'm up here. And if I, I, I actually say oh, I'm not doing well, he may think I'm down here. Therefore, oh, I don't want him to think less of me. Therefore, my ego is saying, don't ask. And I'm going, let the ego go because when, I, when I'm in a group of people, I say, how many of you, by raise of hands, if someone asked for support, would you help them? And all these hands go up. And I go, keep your hand up if you're the sort of person that would ask for support. And all the hands go down. I was like, hold on a tick. If everyone's willing to give support and no one's wanting to ask, we are in imbalance here. So we need to let go of the ego and actually go, hey, guys, I need help. Or I, can I ask a question? I need clarity. I need, I need some sort of support. I don't know what it is right now, but I'm willing to go there. This is thank you. I like to I like to just bring out the places where um, it seems like simple advice. It seems like simple a simple way of, of approaching it. But I also find that sometimes the simple things are also like that doesn't mean it's easy. It can be simple, but it doesn't mean it's easy. Uh, and so th- thanks for bringing in some elements uh, around that. So let's let's look at this. We're, as we wrap up today's conversation, uh, I love to look into what's coming up next. You know, what's something that's coming up that that really excites you. Um, that maybe that excites you, that intimidates you, that like that has you like you know go into your um, your table and say like, hey, this is this is the thing that that I'm uh, I'm bringing to the world nowadays. Like, what's what's something that that really uh, feels like like you playing at your next level here? Yeah, and we've already mentioned one of them, and that was the the ninety odd videos that I did and have a standalone program in the Creative Success coaching program and that's worldwide and and uh, people jump in for group coaching and one-on-one coaching plus they have the videos in the background my the thing that is exciting me at the moment is being able to create product that i can put out there uh in a sales funnel and the process as you say sounds really easy it sounds very simple It's like you just do this, 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 and this. But the work in between has been amazingly challenging for me. I've I've been taken to the edge. And uh, fortunately, I have a a wonderful wife and she supports me. She's a creator. She's a a writer, um, uh, an author, and she knows the process. So by having that support, I was able to go there. So I'm right on, like yesterday, just yesterday, I finished a series of 400 slides over, what was it, uh, for probably eight, eight modules that I did, I'll probably pair it down to six. And that excites me because, again, similarly, I was able to put the work in on a product and it's, it's like writing another book. There's a book in it. I'm going to rip the, uh, the audio out and do the transcription. I'm going to create an audio book out of it. Uh, and then I've got six modules as well. So it, it's been very heavy work, but boy, it's all around goal setting. It's all around creating um, the results that you want in your life. It's about goal attainment, how to do it easy, what external action you're doing, what support you need, and what's going on in your head. Is it yes or is it no? What I call the internal focus. And uh, being able to have that product in the background and then put it out, and I do say to the world, because it's a very small planet when we have the ability to not just do local, but then do national and international at the click of a button. And uh, I'm, I'm hugely excited about that. Les, I'm excited for you. Uh, and I'm excited for those that get a chance to be a part of this year. Um, I am and when I say be a part of it, it's like the people who go down that journey with you, right? Um, I want to support what you're up to in the world. I think it's important that we as trailblazers are doing that here. So let me just give you some space and time. Like if someone is interested in exploring this, either that program uh, or the 90 day, uh, sorry, the 90 video program that you have in, a, in Creative Success, can you tell us how they can find out more about it? Yeah. So I have two websites, there's Get More Time. And obviously I'm going to give you, uh, Nima, the, uh, opportunity to put that in the show notes. So there's get more time, and there's also creating success coaching, and there's a lot of information uh, in both of them. 
the I have a YouTube channel of uh, creating success coaching, and you can find that. However, the creating success coaching program is available uh, from the creating success coaching website. So it's creating success coaching dot com dot au. You got to put the au. We being in Australia, so <laughs> creating success coaching dot com dot au, and it'll be in the show notes. However, um, yeah, I, I love working with people, and people say, yeah, but I, I can't go there. What else have you got? And I've got lots in between. But it, I think a good starting point is to give uh, the viewers and the listeners an opportunity to to start out with something free, and that would be uh, the twenty five time tips for busy people. And all you need to do is go to getmoretime.com.au forward slash time tips, T-I-M-E-T-I-P-S, time tips. And uh, it, it's, as, as we've been saying all along, it's very simple stuff. But if you apply them, they will make very big changes in your life and be able to get you back at least an hour a day. My book is on my website of uh, getmoretime.com.au. The Get Back an Hour and Every Day book is on there. You can buy it as a uh, paperback or you can get it as a digital download. And um, yeah, there's there's lots. I want to have a conversation. I'd love people to get in touch. Um, download the 25 time tips and, and let's have a conversation. Look at that. All right, cool. So I like that here. So we have some ways to keep going down, down this path. Um, Les, I believe in the way that you show up in the world. Um, I, I appreciate you for going out there for to create more leaders and not more followers. Uh, I see you in the way that you have transformed yourself time and time again. Uh, and in doing so, you've created opportunities for others uh, and, and leveled up both your growth and others' growth. I also, and this is something I'm realizing is important to me, it's come up, it come, when it shows up in conversation, I can't let it like this go by. Uh, I think it's great the relationship that you have with your partner and wife there. That's like that's like continuing to. Uh, I feel a lot of love and appreciation and respect that's there. And I and I I like as someone who's married myself and 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 my partner has been like she just made so she just made so much possible with me. You know, um, I, I I don't I hear it. I don't want to lose sight of it. I, I want to honor that. All right. So thank you for being you. Thanks for being uh, 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 in this conversation with me. If there was one thing that you're going to leave. Uh, any of the outliers listening to this uh, with what what would you leave them with? Everyone. Everyone wants to be a leader, even if it's just leading the dog. So, so if you are in a position and you have the ability to lead, then lead. Be the first one to put your hand up. If the, if As a good friend of ours says, if you're given a mic, take it. So there are platforms with you to make a difference and it's time for you to shine. It's time for you to stand up and and make that difference. Um, as someone said, you're mad. I said, you bet I'm mad. M-A-D, making a difference. So the only way to make a difference is to step into that, to actually make a difference, step into it, be the leader, never shrink back, always go forward. Mm. And with that, we will end this conversation here. Les, it's an absolute, absolute pleasure. I'll talk Wonderful. to you soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Absolutely. We're just getting started. Take 10 seconds to think about your greatest insight from today's conversation. And if you're ready to go and bring this to a deeper, more applicable level for you, come and join us in an upcoming masterclass. Go to outliersedge.com slash masterclass to be coached live and to bring your aspirations, your goals, and your challenges and have them handled in real time. This is high flame, high impact, high transformation. Go to outliersedge.com slash masterclass and come experience your next level of leadership.